It's week 45 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 314. Job 10. I loathe my own life. I will give full vent to my complaint. I will speak out of the bitterness of my soul. I will say to God, do not condemn me. Tell me why you contend with me. Is it good for you to oppress, to despise the work of your hands while you smile in the plants of the wicked? Do you have eyes of flesh? Do you see as a human being sees? Are your days like those of a mortal or your years like those of a strong man that you should seek out my iniquity and search out my sin? Though you know that I am not guilty, yet there is no one to deliver from your hand. Your hands molded and fashioned me. Will you now destroy me completely? Remember you fashioned me like clay. Will you return me to dust? Did you not pour me out like milk and curdle me like cheese? Clothe me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinews? You gave me life and steadfast love and your care has preserved my spirit. Yet these things you have hidden in your heart for I know that this is with you. If I sinned, you would snatch me and not equip me of my iniquity. If I'm guilty, woe to me. Even if I am innocent, I cannot lift my head. I'm full of shame and conscious of my affliction. If my head is held high, you hunt me like a lion and again work wonders against me. You renew your witness against me and increase your anger toward me. Change and warfare are with me. Why then did you bring me out from the womb? I should have died so no eye would have seen me. If only I had never come into being or been carried from womb to grave. Are not my days few? Then stop, leave me alone so I might have a little joy before I depart and never return to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, the land of utter darkness, like the deepest darkness and disorder where even the light is like darkness. Proverbs 10 The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son gives joy to his father, but a foolish son grief to his mother. Ill-gotten treasures profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. Adonai will not let a righteous soul go hungry, but thwarts the cravings of the wicked. Lazy hands make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in summer is a wise son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise in heart accept commands, but a babbling fool comes to ruin. One who walks in integrity walks securely, but one who takes crooked paths will be discovered. One who winks an eye maliciously causes grief, while a babbling fool comes to ruin. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up strife, but love cover, covers up all transgressions. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of one lacking sense. Wise men store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool is near ruin. The wealth of a rich man is a strong city. The wages of the righteous are life, the income of the wicked is sin. One who heeds discipline is on the path of life, but whoever ignores correction goes astray. One who conceals hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. When words abound, transgression is unavoidable, but whoever restrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, the heart of the wicked is of little value. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of understanding. The blessing of Adonai brings wealth, and he adds no trouble with it, as doing wickedness is Delight to a fool, so is wisdom to a man of discernment. What the wicked dread will fall on them. The desire of the righteous will be given. When the whirlwind passes, the wicked are no more, but the foundation of the righteous is everlasting. Like vinegar to the teeth or smoke to the eyes, so is a slacker to those who send them. The fear of Adonai prolongs life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. The prospect of the righteous is joy, but the hope of the wicked perishes. The way of Adonai is a stronghold to the upright, but it is a ruin to those who do evil. 
The righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not dwell in the land. The mouth of the righteous bears the fruit of wisdom, but a perverse tongue will be caught out. The lips of the righteous know what is pleasing, but the mouth of the wicked is perverse. Ecclesiastes 10 Dead flies make a perfumer's oil stink, so a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor. The heart of the wise is to his right, and the heart of the fool is to his left. Even as the fool walks along the way, his heart lacks sense and tells everyone what a fool he is. If a ruler's spirit rises up against you, do not leave your post, for composure allays great offenses. There is a wrong I have seen under the sun like an error proceeding from a ruler. Fools are placed in many high positions while the rich sit in low ones. I have seen slaves on horses and princes walking on the ground like slaves. Whoever digs a pit may fall into it, and whoever breaks through a fence may be bitten by a snake. Whoever quarries stones may be hurt by them, and whoever splits logs may be endangered by them. If the iron axe is blunt and one doesn't sharpen the edge, then he must exert more force. So wisdom has the advantage of giving success. If the snake bites before it is charmed, there is no profit for the charmer. Words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but the lips of fools destroy them. The words from his mouth begin as folly and end as grievous madness, and the fool multiplies words. No one knows what will happen, and who can tell him what will happen after him. The mischief of fools wearies them, for he doesn't know how to go to town. Oi to you, O land, when your king is a youth and your princes feast in the morning. Happy are you, O land, when your king is a son of nobles, and your princes eat at the proper time, in self-control and not in drunkenness. By laziness, the rafters sag, and by idle hands, the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes life glad, but money is the answer for everything. Do not ridicule the king, even in your thoughts, nor curse the rich in your bedroom, for a bird of the air may carry your voice, and a winged creature may report your words. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there and click the bell if you want notifications and hit that like button too. And I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha. I know without a doubt you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you, Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you, Lord Holding what's too much for me And I'm amazed by you, Lord Because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet